applying filters. Another way of analyzing your data is to apply a filter. Again, we have a list of information here. We have headings across the top and then our data is listed in rows underneath. To ensure that it sees it all as one range, click anywhere inside the range and then hold down control and press A on your keyboard. Again, it will highlight the range for you and if it's missing any parts, then you know you need to manually highlight the range yourself. Once I have the range, I can then, in the Data tab, go to the button Filter. So click anywhere inside the range and press the Filter button. Here I can see for each one of my headings, I have got a drop-down menu. So for example, for Product, if I click on the drop-down menu, I can go and choose the filter that I'd like to see left on screen. So if I decide to turn off the Select All and simply select Desktop, when I press the OK button, it will only be looking at the product desktop in the list. So it filters the data by that product only. Clicking back on the drop down arrow, I can then click Clear Filter from Product to bring back all of the data. So you'll see for each one of my headings, I have this drop down menu. So again, if I go to Region, deselect all, select one of the regions and press OK, then that's the only region that I'm left with in the filter. Clicking back on the drop down arrow, it is possible to select more than one item in the list. So for example, in Region, if I select North and South, then that's all that's left in the list. I can also apply a second filter on top of that. So for example, I could go to product, deselect all and just select smartphone. So now in my list, I have smartphones only for the North region at the moment because there was no smartphones sold in the South. To bring back all of my data, I could go back individually to each of the drop down menus and click clear filter. Or when you've more than one filter turned on, in the data tab beside the filter button, there's the option to clear. Clicking on clear here will automatically bring you back to all of your data. It's important to realize when you have a filter turned on. Let's say, for example, I go to Payment Type and I choose Cash and I press OK. How do you know that you have a filter turned on? Well, down at the bottom of your screen, you will see the word Ready and the number of records that are left. On the left hand side, you will see blue row numbers instead of black. And also at the top of your screen, the Clear button is available for you to click on. All three of these things should tell you that there is currently a filter turned on. Also, in the arrow of the heading that you're filtering under, there is a little funnel inside that box. That shows you that the filter is currently being applied through this heading. When you're dealing with numbers or dates, you will find when you go to the drop down arrow, not only do you have the options to turn on or off, but in this case, we also have number filters. So I could go and search for numbers that are equal to a particular number, greater than, less than, and so on. And when we're dealing with dates, you'll find that you have date filters and you can look at next weeks, next months, next quarters, next years, and so on. So depending on what's inside of the cell will depend on the filters that you can apply. To turn off the drop down arrows that we have at the top, simply go back and turn off the funnel button. And now you'll see it goes back to just being a regular range of data.